Hello, my fellow shut-ins, sports fans, and all that good stuff. Scott Spritz here, DocSports.com. Smash Mouth Report, uh, April 7th, 2020. We're going to be talking more about the NFL, starting with this video. Going to feature the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, we're out in the NFC West right now, wrapping up that division with Arizona left to go. One more team after this, and uh, then we'll be all done with one more division. We'll continue to move on. Listen, before we get to everything today, a real quick note. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, want to give it a a trial run when everything gets back to normal. Uh, all you got to do is click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any Capper's daily picks. Again, at DocSports.com. Some of the guys doing horse racing. Some of the guys doing uh, the couple of soccer leagues that are still around. And, and uh, if you want to use it there, you're more than welcome to do so. If you want to jump on board and give it a trial run, $60 free account. Listen, we're going to talk about the Arizona Cardinals in just a moment. Uh, we've mentioned on recent videos, I'm not going to bore you if there's no news when it comes to the coronavirus and how it's affecting the sports world. Well, we got some news. I'm going to talk about it on this video and my next video. And by the way, been a couple of days since I did cut a video talking about NFL. Uh, so we're going to have back-to-back -back days here and make sure to get back and caught up. And I hope you enjoyed our WrestleMania video we did with Rafael Esparza. More in the works coming up over the next couple of days over at DocSports.com with multi-capper videos. Uh, so be sure to tell you more about that. Here's the update. We do have positive news in the sports world. First of all, Major League Baseball, you probably know by now, uh, they're talking about doing their best to return by May, sometime in May. Uh, of course, they wanna, they're want to. they talking about possibly playing in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Uh, the one problem for me is how are they going to be playing baseball uh, when the temperature is 115 degrees? I live in Las Vegas. Phoenix is even worse than Las Vegas when it comes to that direct sunlight coming down on you. There's no way uh, they're going to be able to play those games when it's that hot in the Phoenix area. They've got one roofed or domed stadium, and that would be the retractable roof at Chase Field. The other stadiums they would be using would be spring training facilities, and uh, there are no obviously no roofs on those ballparks. So they're going to have to look into that. Maybe there's also talk that they can start the league in late May in the Phoenix area and by July move into other locations, even maybe normal uh, cities for some of these teams. As far as the NBA, they're still talking about sequestering the teams in Las Vegas. We've got plenty of arenas within about a five-mile radius of each other, at least four off the top of my head. Thomas and Mack, Cox Pavilion, MGM, Orleans, uh, maybe even the T-Mobile Arena. There's five arenas right there, all within about three or four miles of each other. We'll see if that plays out. They're waiting to see about rapid response test kits so they can find out and, and test players and get results back within minutes. NHL's talking about a return. The teams would be sequestered and play in North Dakota. And I love Dana White. He looks like he's doing his best to get things going by April 18th. The talk is, is they call it UFC Fight Island. And uh, they're going to hold the fights in this particular place starting with April 18th. More on that with videos coming up in the next few days. That's just a few days from now, obviously, April 18th. And maybe by July, we're going to have all the sports going out. It as far as the summertime and springtime professional sports played uh, before empty arenas, but we'll take that, won't we? All right, enough of that. Let's get right into it with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, William Hill has them plus 1,200 to win the division. William Hill has the over under on the Arizona Cardinals of six and a half wins, minus a dollar 40 on the over. Um, and I'll tell you what, you know, Kyler Murray's rookie campaign went better than a lot of people expected. It was also his head coach, Cliff Kingsbury's first season as an NFL head coach. I remember doing a show at VSIN uh, right after the first preseason game, talking to a couple of the guys at the book over there, a couple of the bookmakers, uh, and they were talking about the fact that, boy, they're probably going to need Arizona all season long against the spread because everybody expected them to be so bad that the public would be anti-Arizona from game one through game 16. Now, they did go 5-10-1 straight up, so the record wasn't sizzling, but they were better than a lot of people thought they'd be, including yours truly, before the season began. So I like Kyler Murray in uh, season two. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury is going to have a lot to work with this year. They got DeAndre Hopkins, massive deal, obviously. They dumped David Johnson. Used to be a big David Johnson fan, but this was a good move to dump that salary. They were able to secure uh, Kenyon Drake, who will be the new next up and coming running back for the Arizona Cardinals. So Cliff, uh, Cliff Kingsbury has all this talent to work with on, on the offensive side of the football. That's a good thing for this team. I see wins totals out there right now. I just mentioned six and a half minus a dollar forty on the over. Uh, 
uh, at William Hill. I see a wins total out there as high as seven and a half. I see seven laying minus $1.10 either way over or under. So listen, I would suggest if you like this team over the total, uh, lay seven minus $1.10 rather than six and a half minus 140. Strength of schedule. Now I rate these teams on how teams are expected to do for the upcoming season. I don't care about uh, the schedule and, and what teams did on their schedule the, previ the previous year because of free agency changes, coaching changes, all that. So my SOS or 2020 strength of schedule, I give Arizona a rating of 130. Uh, that would be the equivalent of the 13th toughest schedule if you used 130 for last year. So not overly, not overwhelming as far as the strength of schedule, not soft, not difficult, pretty much middle of the pack for the upcoming season. And remember, shop around. If you like Arizona under that wins total, you shouldn't take less than seven and a half. It's out there, folks. And if you like Arizona over, you should not lay more than seven. So as I always say, shop around. But with the changes that have been made, I think we're going to see improvements out of Arizona. I don't know if you want to jump on over six and a half wins. I do lean that way. I think this team has seven win uh, possibility or probability to them. So I do lean towards the over. In that case, obviously, you don't want to lay more than seven on any of this. You'd get your money back if they go seven and nine. But if you want to lay the buck 40, you can do that at one particular book. And uh, again, that's a six and a half on that, on that wins total. So I won't play the plus 1,200 to win the division. I don't think they're ready for that. But with their strength of schedule being middle of the pack, the offense being a little bit better, and it'll have more tools than it did a year ago. Kyler Murray with another year under his belt. I think Arizona's got a shot at seven wins this year. All right, listen, that's going to do it for this particular video. We will be right back here tomorrow. I'm going to have another NFL video. We're going to finish off the NFC West uh, with tomorrow's video. By tomorrow, I'm talking Thursday night. So Thursday night, Friday morning, there will be another NFL video and hopefully a little bit more to talk about when it comes to COVID-19 and how it's affected the sporting world. But uh, at least on Tuesday, there has been nothing but good news when it comes to the sporting world. And I say that with all due respect uh, for anybody who has lost a loved one due to this or anybody who's fighting through this right now, uh, battling the COVID-19 virus. Let's keep them in mind. And uh, listen, again, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll be right back here no later than Wednesday night, Thursday morning. We're going to call it with our next video. Uh, and we'll be able to wrap up the NFC West and then move to another division. Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll talk to you again on Wednesday night, Thursday morning.